program where you can call people and it's a free download off the internet. For example, my sister, you can do a video call, which you can see their face through a video camera. You can do a call, which is basically just calling through a phone, basically, like that, except over the internet. Now, right here, you can share stuff, like a send a file, send contacts, share screens, or add people. The share screens option will not come up if they're offline. Here, it shows your network. Then, Down here, during the, around the message box, you have um, <laughs> you can call you can uh, when you're typing a message you could do something like uh, hi. Then if you want to add a figure or face, actually, you can choose one of these. And also on the bottom right, you can see how it's made by do like for example smiley face. You have to type in that. But for a star, you can do something simple as this. Like that. And I'll do a star. You can also do... Um, this. Or you can simply go through here and click that. It's the same thing. If you want to call something like their phone, you can simply click that arrow right there and you can call their mobile phone or phone number, add phone number from them. And you could also, up here you have the option to call a phone, which basically brings up this page. And if you want to call, you have to buy Skype credits, which basically you buy credit and then you use up that credit while you're calling somebody. Up here, if you click this button, you can get to your settings and homepage where it'll show comments. Well, recent statuses from people. Over here, on Sk if you click Skype in the top left corner, it shows online status. And you can choose your status, like away, do not disturb, invisible, offline, and you can also set up call forwarding. Here you can set up your profile by changing your picture, your sounds, or edit your profile. You can change your privacy account, by, so you can buy a Skype credit here as also, instead of going here. You can change your password, you can sign out of Skype, and close. When you sign out of Skype, basically this brings you to the login page. And if you want to close Skype, com Skype completely, you just go down here and right click, and you can do quit Skype, and that'll close on Skype, and it'll ask you to make sure, confirm that they, they click that, and up here in contacts, if you click that, you can add a contact, import contacts from another user, create a new group, which basically is like, for example, we have all like all of our contacts so you can create the sort of groups on the t because over here on the left there is uh, all my contacts and I can have them in groups and then I have contact lists which shows all of them either if they're offline or online and it shows everybody on Skype or but it's online only and then people on Facebook or you can create a new list here you can show Outlook contacts here you can sort contacts by their name or online status. I like online status because you can see who's online right away. Right here you can choose who's... Uh, you can hide contacts who are offline, offline with call forwarding, haven't shared contact details, and then down here at advanced you can back up contacts to file, restore contacts from file, and manage blocked contacts. When you back up your contacts, basically it backs up all your contact. Um, so in case something happens to your Skype. And then over here, manage blocked contact contacts. If you right click on the user, you'll come up with this menu. And during the bottom, close to the bottom, it'll come up with block this person. And you can click that to block the person. 
over in call, you can call somebody if you're on a user, let's say my sister again. You can call them. You can either do a Skype call or a mobile. You can do a video call. You can answer a call from them. You can ignore them. You can mute your microphone from them. You can hold on them. You can transfer calls to another one. You can hang up, which basically ends the call. You can show the dial pad. Call phones, audio, you can change your audio settings. Like right here. So here's my microphone right now, as you can see, it going up. This is the volume level. And it has automatically adjust microphone settings. I did have a problem with the computer where I could not hear anything at all. So I suggest if you have that same problem, you just change, you go on here and you can change this level like this. I like it, I like having it in the middle. It used to be down here. And you can change what microphone you want to use. You can change what speakers you want to use. And then if you're ringing, you can use a spe specific speech speaker. You can also show advanced options right here. And you can show, you can show uh, what audio devices. If you want to show basic options, there's a button right there. If you want to make a test call, you click this button, and then and you can buy a headset or a Skype phone from the Skype shop right here. Down here in calls, you can choose to call, forward a call, or you can do a voice message, which I have made a voice message, and And you can receive um, unanswered calls from as a voice message, and you can right here this button. You can record a voice message, and then and then when you're done, you can play it, and you can change how long till it plays the voice message. Right here in video settings, I do not have a video camera. Um, if you don't, you don't have to worry about this part. You can find out. Yeah, here you go. Yeah. So right here has an error where I don't have the webcam. But down here, it says automatically receive video and share screens with anyone, people on my contact list, or no one. I would suggest this one if you like to share it with your friends or something. No, over here is some more advanced options. I can use Skype click to call links on the web, Skype, and the taskbar while I'm signed in. Basically what that does is, is it keeps it down here, like this for example, and you can show Skype watermark during calls, which basically is the logo. You can help improve by giving a, you can take a little, uh, I would say quiz. And then when you're all done, you can click save. I'll click cancel in case I change everything, anything. And here in view, you can change you can change what you're going to view. And there's some shortcuts over here. It's like recent voice messages, files sent and received, SMS messages, instant messages, basically IM, which is right here. And then you can choose the Skype home profile, call phones. You can call a phone from here too. You can snapshots. You can see if you have took any snapshots of anything. Compact view, where you can go in full screen, or show hidden conversations. In tools, you can choose some apps. If you have any, you can choose some apps from here. If you don't have any, you click this button right here. If you want to change your language. I have it set to English because uh, that's, where, that's what I speak. And you can change it whenever you want. And it says on the left, a little example in your language, and then on the right, it says it in English. In accessibility, you can choose extended keyboard navigation and screen reader mode. For here, you can choose Skype Wi Fi, or you can mess with the options again. This is another way to get the options. Over 
here and help. You can get help, answer some support. You can get your Skype status and heartbeat, basically. Same thing. Call quality guide. So you can check for updates on Skype. Uh, give feedback and you can do privacy. You can see the privacy policy and see what's about Skype. And if you want to close this part, and I'll hide this whole mess, the whole thing, and it'll go back to your home screen. And then you're back over here. We can change how big this is, like that. Over here, you can change the parts of what you want to see. And then down here, in, 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 when you're typing a message, you can type it in and you click send or press enter. And uh, via Skype, you can select SMS, basically from your phone, or add a phone number. Same up here, too. That's about it about Skype. Worldwide Telescope is a program that allows you to see the whole universe in a 3D model on the computer through a program through Windows. And you can find it on their website, Microsoft. Here you'll find Explore. In the Explore tab, you'll find the planets. And you can go to Earth, for example. It'll take a little while, but you eventually get there. I might have been already at Earth, but you can give an example of what it would be like when you're going to Earth. So that's what it'll do when you're going to a different planet. It's going in view. That's the sun, by the way. I'm not quite there yet. And that's just glitch where you have to turn right sometimes. It doesn't happen that much to me. It might not look like it's moving right now, but it is actually. There is Earth. So, if you want to go back up to the regular options, you just click up level. Then, you have the same selection. And you can select the solar system, which brings you to the same thing. And down here, you should have what you can look at. You can look at the Earth, planet, sky, or you can go to a panorama. You can change the view here. And then finally on the right, you can uh, search. So, let's say, example, I don't want to show this, so I just uncheck that box by less clicking. If I want to see more, I just click this arrow here. That'll bring me here. And on the bottom right, you'll see planet size. You can change how big the planet is going to be, as you can see there. Then, up back on the top, to the top left, you'll find guided tours. Here, you can go to, for example, the planets, and you can see the planet, the list of planets. And you can, basically it's a video showing you uh, stuff about the planet. And when you hover over it with your mouse, it'll come up to this thing, and you have to play, you have to click this button right here to play it. And it'll pop up in a, in a big screen, and it'll play it. And it'll have to download for the internet first, though. And... If you want to get out, you can press Escape, basically ESC, on the top left of the keyboard. 
Let's get out of that. I think there's a little bit of lack involved. Let's go into oh, let's go over to search. And you can search for planets, let's say Earth. And you can go to Earth. And over here you can go to community where you can basically share. And basically when you join a community, you join a network of basically friends online. In Telescope, I don't have it installed at the moment, so I cannot use it. You have all these options here. As you can see, it's not connected. And in View, you'll have options. And you can change if you don't want to see these lines here, which some people might be a little annoying. So, let's, for example, I don't want to see the stars. I would left click on this box and it wouldn't show the stars. And so on. If you want to go over to settings, it basically changes stuff like the sensitivity of the mouse. This is what I meant by sensitivity of the mouse. You can zoom in faster. Let's go slow first. And let's try and zoom in in and out. See how slow it is? And then let's compare it to fast. Oh, a little bit of lag involved. There we go. It goes really fast. And that's pretty much it about Worldwide Telescope. If you'd like to go see more, go to their website. Bye.